so um, it's just quite a pleasure to be here with all of you today to celebrate Dia de los Niños, Dia de los Libros, Children's Day Book Day. And we have such a special opportunity today um, with this author visit from children's book author, Rochelle Newman. And she's one of the authors of this book, Zigzag. Es un placer celebrar el Día de los Niños, Día de los Libros con ustedes. Eh, y en esa oportunidad muy especial, una visita con la autora Rochelle Newman. Okay, so here we are today. <laughs> um, it's such a pleasure to be able to share with everyone. Um, muchas gracias por estar con ustedes hoy. Es un placer celebrar. Um, el Día de los Niños con ustedes y también um, celebrar esta visita con la autora Rochelle Newman. And it's also a pleasure to, to be celebrating with our author visit with Rochelle Newman. Just a little background, Rochelle Newman is from New York and lives in LA. She loves letters, literature, languages, and lots of things. Her plays have been seen on stages and she plays with words on pages. Um, Zigzag is her first children's book, and it's my absolute favorite bilingual English uh, Spanish alphabet book. It's so much fun, and I hope you all enjoy it too. Uh, Rochelle Newman is de Nueva York y vive en Los Angeles. Ella ama a las letras, la literatura, los idiomas, y muchas cosas. Sus obras de teatro um, se puede ver en teatros, y también ella juega mucho con palabras en las páginas de libros. Zigzag es su primer libro para niños y es mi libro favorito de, um, bueno, libro favorito de alfabeto que sea bilingüe en español e inglés. Es un libro muy divertido y espero que ustedes gocen del libro también. Well, welcome, Rochelle Newman. Thank you so much for celebrating with us today. Bienvenida, Rochelle, y muchas gracias celebrar con nosotros hoy. Hola, librarian Kristen and librarian Cara. Thank you both so much. And to everyone in, Spr in the Springfield Library and on Zoom and wherever you are on Facebook Live. Eh, muchísimas gracias. Primero, yo quiero decir que um, mi español es un poco flojo. No es tan elegante como la bibliotecaria Kristen. Pero voy a tratar a hablar en mi manera. I'm going to try to speak in my um, very bilingual way, but I want to make sure everyone knows that my Spanish is not as beautiful as Librarian Kristen's. Um, and what a, a wonderful talent to have to be able to go back and forth in both languages. So I love being able to do that in mi manera, in my way. And uh, and I'll be doing that today. And I'm so excited to be with all of you. Estoy, es un, es un honor estar aquí con todos de ustedes en Zoom y en Facebook Live y en, en la Biblioteca Springfield. I love libraries and I love librarians. So thank you. Oh, muchas gracias, Rochelle. Thank you, Rochelle. Um, before we jump into this really fun book, I have a couple of questions for you, actually. Um, pues antes de que uh, exploramos el libro divertido, tengo algunas preguntitas para ti. Um, my first question is, when did you learn Spanish? Uh, mi pre primera pregunta es, ¿cuándo, um, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo es que empezaste a estudiar el español? It's a perfect question for Dia de los Niños because I don't know if you saw my picture. I'm going to turn off my camera real fast so everyone can see it. Okay, there I am when I was about six years old. Aquí estoy en Nueva York cuando estaba más o menos seis años. Y eh, pues, mi familia no es Latino. Mi familia es de, my family is not Latino. My family is from Poland and Russia. And my parents, mis padres, eh, estaba hablando Yiddish a mis abuelos. My parents used to speak Yiddish to my grandparents. And Yiddish is a language that's a mix of German and, oh, I don't know what it's a mix of, but it was the secret language. Era el, el idioma secreto entre mis padres y mis abuelos. ¿Por qué secreto? It was the secret language between my parents and my grandparents. And why was it secret? Because they didn't want the children, in, in Yiddish, the kinder, 
like kindergarten, the kinder, to know what they were saying. Entonces, ellos estaban hablando uno a otro. They were talking one to the other in Yiddish, and we wouldn't understand. So what did I do? I decided to have my own second language, and I learned Spanish when I was in elementary school. Eh, yo empecé estudiando español en, en, en elementary school. Yo no recuerdo el grado, como fifth grade, I think, or fourth grade, con señora Mercedes Padillo. I remember my Spanish teacher. And we lived in a neighborhood that was very Puerto Rican. So I could speak with friends. Yo puedo hablar con muchos puertorriqueños, borricuas, hablando con amigos and amigas. And, um, and I learned from Señora Badillo, and then in junior high school from Señora Andricos, and then in high school from Señor Wiener. That was his name, Señor Wiener. Eh, y pues, entonces, yo, pero mi gramática sufre porque, y mi esposo es panameño. My husband is Panamanian. So I have Panamanian in-laws, but my grammar suffers because I don't practice enough. Oh, thank you for the answer. Gracias. <laughs> um, <laughs> studying languages uh, is really a lifetime, a lifelong thing, I think. Mm -hmm. um, esto de aprender de los idiomas es algo que está con nosotros para toda la vida o por toda la vida. Oh, una cosa más. One more <laughs> thing. Eh, zigzag, estaba nas it was born in el, la idea in Mérida, Mexico. And I was in Merida, Mexico, eh, at a school called Habla that helps you, um, it's como immersión, it's an immersion school and helps, it helps you practice your, your, your languages in Spanish in particular. And I had studied what's called literary translation in college and lit traducir para libros, traducir literario. I studied that and I thought, what would happen if I could create a book that didn't have one language already written, that both languages were written at the same time. Yo estaba pensando, ¿qué pasó si yo puedo hacer un libro, crear un libro, donde un idioma no existe todavía? Entonces, escribirlos al mismo tiempo. And so that's how Zigzag started in my head. And then I called Alonso. That's, that's, that's really fun to hear how you thought about the book. Um, gracias por, por this, compartir con nosotros cómo se nació el libro, ¿no? Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about Alonso y Pablo? Yes. ¿Puede compartir un poquito sobre Alonso y Pablo? Sí, yo puedo. Yo put, yes, I can. I can do it in two ways. One, of course, I can read um, what they have on their thing, but more, more than reading that, um, I, because I, I love Alonso dearly. Alonso is an amazing children's book author. And if you ever have a chance, Alonso Nunez, and like he says in his write-up, his name begins with an A, Alonso, and ends with a Z, Nunez. El nombre de Alonso empieza con A, Alonso, y termina con Z, Nunez, A to Z. So Alonso writes many, many wonderful children's books in Espanol. Uh, la mayoría del trabajo de Alonso es en español. The most of his work is in Spanish. And I met him in advertising. He is a what's called a copywriter. Eh, es un, eh, un escritor que, que escribe para propaganda, para publicidad, para publicidad, commercials and ads eh, that you see in newspapers. And he's a wonderful human being and a wonderful writer. And he's from El DF, or Mexico City, originally. Hey, Ahora él vive en Los Ángeles, no, en Orange County también, uh -huh. en California. Y hoy oh, y Pablo, una cosa, eh, Pablo es el, 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 lo hace el artista, él hace el, los dibujos. Y para Alonso y yo, for Alonso and I, we call the illustrations that Pablo did the third language. Because you have English, you have Spanish, and you have the image que es un idioma, es un language in and of itself, and it brings it all together. And Pablo lives in Argentina. And he, um, I got to meet Pablo in Zoom 
at the beginning of the pandemic, cuando empieza todo el pandemic y Zoom y empezamos trabajando en, en Zoom, eh, Pablo y yo hizo una presentación y él estaba en Argentina, donde él vive y él es artista de, de dibujos, de libros, de comic books, de muchas cosas. Y es bien divertido, Pablo. Y también tiene un apellido con un Z. Yo solamente yo no tengo una Z en mi nombre. I'm the only one that doesn't have a Z in my name. Alonso Núñez, Pablo Suig, Rochelle Newman. Y somos Newman y Núñez. Y Suig. <laughs> pues gracias. Thank you. Um, oh, and one of our participants says that she has a Z in her name too. Oh, <laughs> Yay! I know. Uh, is that Ines or Roz? There's two oh, there's a Perez. few. Actually, there's a lot. No, it's <laughs> Leilani Perez. Perez. Qué bien. And Z. I was going to say something about Z. And you tell me if I'm right or not. Well, I learned this from my husband. Que my uh, mi, mi esposo panameño me dijo algo de Z en español. El me dijo, he told me that when he started to learn English originally, because his, he learned in Panama, his grandfather spoke only English and his grandmother only spoke Spanish. Tenía un abuelo que solamente habló en, en, en inglés y una abuela que solamente habló en español. El me dijo, he told me that Z, that in English we go Z, entonces sentimos como Z, como el buzz, buzz, buzz de un, un, un B, ¿no? Z. Pero en español, he never did that z sound before. Solamente, por, por ejemplo, Pérez o, o Zeta, pero no Zeta. Y él me dijo que, and he told me that the feeling of the Z was very different in English than in Spanish. And that's the beauty. Things can feel different and, and, and we express ourselves differently. Now, I hope that's a true, well, it's his true story. Es una historia de él, verdad. Yo no sé si es exactamente correcto o, o I, but I think it is. I think it's true. You don't zzz in Spanish. You s. <laughs> y en español. <laughs> oh, en, 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 oh, en España. España. En España, sí. Se hacen. <laughs> <laughs> you, use a, you, you use your tongue. Uh, it's different. See, <laughs> um, it's so fun how there's different, um, different accents around the world. I'm, I didn't mean to stick out my tongue at the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen again so we can look at the book together. Perfect. Voy a compartir mi pantalla para que, para que podamos ver el libro. Mm -hmm. And Michelle, would you like to share some of the book with us right now? No? Yes, I okay. would love to share some of the book with you. I want to, I want to just, um, give a brief <clears throat> I, mm, excuse me i mentioned the word translation before and i wanted to tell you that the idea for the book yo menciono eh, traducción antes but the idea for the book is something that alonso and i call conversation and why conversation conversation in vez de traducción or translation conversación y translation conversation and translation became conversation Porque en este libro es una conversación. In this book, it's a conversation between the two languages. It's not a translation. So you'll see that what it says in Spanish, it doesn't say exactly the same thing in English. Que dice en español no es exactamente lo mismo en, en, es, eh, en inglés. Or, yeah, I got that right. One language and the other language son como relacionado. In conversación, in diálogo, in dialogue related to each other, but not translated. So you'll see. And we'll go through the first section, and then if we have time, we'll do some of the second, and then we can play a game. Okay. Al principio, el juego es español-inglés, español-inglés. Va en zigzag el ABC. Zigzag means the letters switch. Spanish, English, Spanish, English. Can you tell me which is which? And then we start with Spanish. A de abejas y de abejorros. Y de agudo aguijón atrás. ¡Ay! ¡Atacan! You see, the stingers are attacking the bear. And in English we say, B is for bees and bumblebees. Biting a bear. Buzz, buzz, buzz. 
I like to say biting a bear's butt because that's a B2. So that's that's an okay word to say. Biting a bear's bottom. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Now we'll go to the next one. Se de coche conducir con cuidado sin chocar. D is for dangerous driving. Don't dent daddy's dodge. Oh, I like this one because it's it's plays with the letters. I like them all. E está en el extremo de pie grande. See the east? E se escapa la E. Encuéntrala. And flee. E. Bigfoot's following you. Fee, fi, fo, fum. G, G, de gordo y de gigante, gritan en grupo las garzas. Those birds are garzas. H is for heavy and humongous. Hush, herons. Hippo hears you. See what I mean about the art being the third language? It brings it all together. El arte es el, el como, it, it brings it together. E, de ir, de isla en isla. Ibiza, Islandia. J is for jumping to Jamaica, a jolly island too. L, oh, this is a cute one. L is for lots of leaves for lunch. Koalas like euca eucalyptus a bunch, but like lettuce less. K de koala con kimono, kimono. M de malo, muy, muy malo. Monstro de medianoche, mamá. N is for naughty, not very nice. Nasty nightmares, Nosferatu. No naps. Nosferatu was a monster. Okay, this is a special letter because in English we don't have the ñ, but in Spanish we do. Esa es una, well, I'll say, I'll read it because it explains it. Ñ de noño y ñandú. Es una letra española. Por eso aparece sola y solo la entiendes tú. And in English, we say, let me expound. Here's the sound. It's not the N noise heard in grand. It's Nya from Canyon. Understand? Now, everyone knows how to say N with a squiggle. The letter N, yay. Can everybody say, you know, I won't hear you, but we can all take a minute to, because I think it's such a great letter. We can all take a minute to go, N, yay! I'm just imagining everybody just did that. Okay. O es el ojo del oso polar, the polar bear. Y otro, y del otro. Oh, P is for pairs of bears. Polar and panda, private eyes. Let's see what Q has. Oh, Q de kikirikiki y de quejarse. Que temprano. That's um, the kikiriki. You know, you have a rooster say, cock a doodle doo. But in Spanish, we could say, kikirikiki. R is for rowdy rooster. Ready to rock and roll? S de serpiente. Que saborea sapos suculentos. And you see, again, el dibujo, the art, has the image. Who's inside of the sapo? The T for three tasting trembling toads. Because they see what's in the sapo, what's in the snake. No, the sapo are the toads, sorry. The serpiente is the snake. The serpiente has the sapo inside of him or her. Next. U de uy, urano, ultra lejano. Ah, V is for Venus and vicinity and a bit of vanity. My friend Ines is in the audience today and she knows all about Venus and, and, and uh, all of the planets. She knows a lot about the stars and the planets and that's a beautiful thing. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Si juntas dos B, if we put together two Vs, de vatios, tienes el W de watts. When you put together two Vs, 
you get the W from Watts. And X is for X-rays and X-files. Oh, wow, we're getting to the end of the first part. Y de yegua, which is like a mare, a horse. E de yoga. Z is for zebra. We were talking about Zs. Here's the Z for everyone in the audience. Z is for zebra and zen. That's so crazy. Look how the Z and the Y are at the end of crazy. And this page is a Z and a Y. That was such a fun accident to find. And then that ends the first section where it's Spanish, English, Spanish, English. And we go second part. English starts. Va al revés. Primero inglés. I think we have time to we'll, we'll get as far as we can. A is for aquarium and aquatic animals. B de burbujas y de bacalao. Bien bigotón. The, the, that fish has a big uh, uh, mustache. Bigotón. Bacalao is actually, well, we don't want to talk about fish in the aquarium and fish we eat, but we, we do do both, don't we? Okay. C is for chaos and crowds and confusion. A crazy city in conclusion. De demasiado desorden. Donde quiera. Día a día. It's a lot of craziness in the cities. Okay. Oh, e is for engine, engineer, and express. Oop, we got that cut off. In its era, but that's okay. I know what it says. F de ferrocarril de futuro. Fum. I like saying ferrocarril. In fact, I, that's double R is also another sound that's very specific to Spanish. Ferrocarril. That's a good sound to be able to roll your R's. Fum. G is for gregariously Gabby guys and girls. And A H de habladores humanos que hablan y hablan y hablan hasta hartar until they're tired of it. Next. I is for impish insects. I'm itchy. J de jicotes juegotones. Ha 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 ha. Look at the little insects. They're playing, but they're not playing. Oh, this is one of my favorites too. K is for kisses. Keep your distance. El de labios y mejor de lejos, which means better from far away for the getting close to those lips. Okay. M for mist and mystery and monsters. N de neblina y noche y nervios. O is for ocean with octopi, otters, and orcas. Those are whales. P de pacifico con pulpos, plankton, E peces. So fish and plankton and octopus. Okay, another favorite. Q is for queen with questions. R de reina con respuestas. And respuestas means answers. So Q is for queen with questions. R de reina con respuestas. S is for supersized spider with scissors. T de tamaña tarantula. Con tijeras. And U is for udders under a cow. B de vaca y de vistazo. B, and for taking a look. B. W is for woof woof. The wiener dog is warbling. Oh, that was my teacher, Senor Wiener, I mentioned. Woof woof. The wiener dog, or sometimes called a dachshund, is warbling. X de solo squinkle al xilófono. And Sholo Squinkle, if you ever saw Coco, is the kind of dog that was in Coco. It's a very special dog, and it's called a Sholo Squinkle. And, and I saw, uh, when I went to Merida, I got to see one of those dogs. And they don't have any hair. They're gray, and they don't have any hair, and they're beautiful. Mm, I guess we're getting to the end. Y is for yawning and for yucky. Z de zombie y de dormir. De dormir? Sí. Porque haces From front to back, cover to cover, our ABCs are now over. Con las setas de zigzag, terminamos este juego. ¿Cuántos más inventarás con las letras y tu ingenio? We can play a game. 
And that's zigzag. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. As you were reading that, I noticed a few times you stopped and said, oh, this is a fun page. Um, and definitely I have that feeling about this book. There's um, a few pages that are some of my favorites. I mean, just, just. I think the one was my favorite one, actually. You want to see what your favorite one is? Sure. You want to yeah. go ahead. What's your favorite one? Go on. Say that again. We didn't hear. What's your favorite page? What's your favorite? Big Oton. Oh, the Big Oton. Oh, big yeah. Oton. The A and B on the second one, where it's the aquarium, and then we have the the fish with the big mustache, the Big Oton. Big Oton. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty silly picture. What is one of your favorites, Rochelle? ¿Cuáles son de las páginas? Más favoritas. I love yes. the one with the kimono, um, with the koala bear, because I learned that's an expression. Not everybody uses it. Kimono means so cute, and then it sounds like kimono. So I love when lang when the words have a double. Me encanta cuando las palabras funciona doble when they have like a double meaning, and then also. Uh, because there in the English, the L's, uh, you know, koalas like uh, uh, lots of leaves for lunch. They like lettuce, you know, less. So I like all of the use of the L's. Was somebody going to say something? I want to. Yeah. Please share if you have a favorite page. Did you want to say? No. Okay. Well, if you do, just raise your hand or shout it out. That's okay. There's there's this, a, a good enough group that we can just shout out. I love Enye. Um, Enye is a special letter. And I love um, the way Alonso was able to talk about it in Spanish. La letra Enye en español, eh, hablando acerca de how it only exists in Spanish. And then Enye Grand Canyon. So has the example of the sound. We can't hear. Can you come closer to your microphone? We can't hear you. What did you want to say? My favorite part was uh, my favorite part was the same as Ollie. The oh. big thon. Big thon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, every time I read the book, I say I have the same favorite parts. My favorite parts don't, well, that's not true. Sometimes my favorite parts can change, but I do like them all. And I like Q&R in the end. I like both Q&Rs. I like the Kiki D Kiki Q&R, but I also like Queen is for, um, Q is for Queen with questions, R es de Reina con respuestas, because I remember that that was really a discovery. Estaba un descubrimiento. Miento that oh, you questions are respuestas. It me and Reina and Queen. That was like a surprise to us. So that was super fun to discover. Like it was the fun to discover while we wrote. Mientras estaba escribiendo, and we had all these tenía descubrimientos. Esa es la palabra. Descubrimientos. Yeah. I the Q and R in the second one is one of my favorites too. Um, a mí me encanta la Q la R en la segunda vez. It's just so it's so perfect how it goes together. Queen, yeah. y reina, preguntas y respuestas, and then the illustration is just hilarious because she's looking in the mirror at a prince, and then there's a toad there with. The crowd and there's a there's a whole story there. Yeah. But she definitely has preguntas y respuestas. She you know hay un, una historia completa allí that she definitely has questions and answers and it's yeah. it's just really fun. Yeah, it's so. sweet. It's sweet. And um, do you have fa other favorites? Do you have? When you um, I also really like the S and the T. A mí me gusta mucho este de ese de de sapo and toad. Mm -hmm. um, Again, because it's just so 
neat how um, S and T, Sapo and Toad, it's the same thing and they're right next to each other in the alphabet. Yeah. And then of course there's a story there too, because there's the, the snake, the Serbian thing with his shape. The picture is mm -hmm. just so funny. Of course those toads are trembling. Porque el serpiente tiene un sapo. <laughs> Exacto. Exactly. And Alonso is amazing. Like, like I also like the um, dos B de Vatios becomes Watts. He just is amazing at using, uh, you know, letters and words to play games. And and I'm pretty good at it too. <laughs> Entonces, estaba un buen pareja. We were a good team, Alonso y yo, porque los dos le encanta jugar con palabras y letras. We, we're a good team because we both enjoy, and we both enjoy rhyming. That's another thing that we both enjoy doing. Um, I, I can rhyme. I can take your time and start to rhyme. It's not a crime, but we can uh, all align on being, although I'm in my prime and you're very young and you might use your tongue in a different way. So I like to <laughs> <laughs> I like to just start rhyming for no particular reason. And I encourage everyone else to do that. Would you play with us today? I would play with you today if you'll play with me today. Yeah, quieren jugar con Rochelle con palabras y las sure. rimas? Does anybody have any questions, or we just can? Will will people play if we play a game of let of letters and see if we can make our own? We won't be able to make like a whole bilingual page, but we can play with both let uh both uh languages letter in different with different letters podemos jugar con las letras y, y crear una página yeah let's try and if you would like um for this part um you can turn your videos on si si están pues cómodos en compartir el video con nosotros está bien si quieren porque vamos a hacer un juego juntos okay and if not, that's okay. We can right. we can make it up as we go, or I can I can play my own game because <laughs> I'm used to entertaining myself, which is a good talent to have. You should always have be able to entertain yourself. So the game. Go oh wait, okay, okay. Here's the chat. So the game goes like this. Um, uh, and I hope I'm pronouncing Leilani's name right, but she said that she has a Z in her name, and that's true. Um, so do we want to do, um, does anyone have a favorite letter? Is Z, let's, should we start with a Z? Since we have so many people with, who have Zs in their name. So let's make a list of words that begin with Z. And you can put them in the chat. And then we can decide on, and, and they can be in either language. Puede poner cual, en cualquier idioma uh, palabras que empieza con Z. Um, or we can, you know, and then we can create like a thing. <gasps> Here comes some zipper and zap and um, uh, zebra. That's a great one. Zucchini <laughs> and zodiac. Um, let's see. Zipper and zebra and zap and zucchini and zoo and zodiac and zilch and, and mm, I guess we can we can probably stop there uh, so let's see if we can create a story out of z if we can say for example z is for z is for hmm Z is, oh, here comes another, a sona, a sacate. What does sacate mean? Oops, you're on mute. I can't hear you. Perdón. Um, pues depende del lugar, pero yo creo que sacate es como um, yerba o césped. It's like grass um, oh, okay. or it could be like maybe sometimes other stuff that grows with grass too. Got it. Okay. Well, I was trying to think of Z words in Spanish. It's a lot harder for me. <laughs> it is. Oh, Zamboni. Isn't that that thing that cleans ice? Okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to pick some of these words and make a, and make a zigzag page. And then 
and then let's see or and then anybody can help me by shouting out but i'm going to put z is for zebra because you can draw that pretty easy if you were the artist z is for zebra in in a zoo who in the zona i'm going to make it bilingual in the zona of the zoo because he lives in the zona of the zoo um he lives like in the zone in una zona in una zona del zoo i'm going to make it spanglish in una zona del zoo eating zucchini let's see Mm. Maybe eating zucchini and zacate if zacate is brass. There you go. Eating zucchini and zacate. And then we can, oops, my, my, my spell correct keeps wanting to change words. There. Z is for zebra in, a, in una zona del sur, en la zona, en la zona del sur. Well, we could, oh, zeal is a good word. With zeal. And he's eating, there you go. He's eating, I'm just going to pick it up there, is eating zucchini. And zacate, and zacate with zeal. <laughs> Oops, it wants to keep changing zacate. Stop it, spell correct. Zacate with zeal. And then we can say, zipper it, zebra. Because he's going to get too, he's going to, he's going to eat too much zacate and too much zucchini. And then he's going to get sick from eating all that zacate and zucchini so he has to zipper it and then we draw a picture of a zebra in la zona del sur eating zacate and zucchini with zeal but we're going to put a big zipper on his mouth because he needs to zipper it and we can't fit in zamboni right now but that could be for another story so you see how we can just we can just start right away and just create images and pages and then what Alonso and I did was we would just bounce the pages back and forth from one to the other like oh yeah zigzag we forgot the name of the book see zigzag we can try it was that fun should we try another one okay the zeep ooh look at this the zebra visits the polar bears and rides on their zamboni there you go we can yes that is true we can have Okay, I'm gonna redo that whole sentence. Where is it? Eating zucchini. Z is for zebra. Okay, Z is for, we'll make it the whole thing. Z is for zebra. En, en la zona del sur, and he was riding at Zamboni. En la zona del sur, riding a Zamboni while eating zucchini and I spell okay and sacate is gonna it's gonna change my sacate don't change it okay and and what was the end of it oh yeah zipper it zebra i like that zipper it zebra there now we have it all we have the entire story and image of the, the, the zamboni riding zebra in la zona del sur comiendo zucchini y sacate and zipper it Zebra is going to get a stomach ache. <laughs> Ay, qué, qué, qué divertido. <laughs> I, I know. I should quit while I'm ahead because who knows if we're going to get such a good story. But but if there's, if there, we can do one more if you want. Uh, Librarian Cara has her hand up. Oh, Librarian Cara has her hand up. I do because we asked you the question earlier. What's that? Um, was what was your favorite letter in the book? But I wonder if you have a different favorite letter when it comes to just letters. Like I happen to know that I really like the letter C and that might be affected by my name. I think it probably is. <laughs> and librarian Cara has a name that is bilingual. Cara. Car Cara, that her name, and Cara, <laughs> Spanish for face. And in Portuguese, it means dude. Cara. Oh, really? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I love that. Meanings of names are lovely. Do um, you have a favorite letter that's not the uh, pandas and the kimonos or the? Um, not well. 
I was going to say F, but see, it's a children's library presentation. And, <laughs> and that wouldn't be very nice. But I do like C's and K's. I do like C's and K's because I like comedy. And for some reason, yo, a mí me encanta comedia. Y por una razón, for some reason or other, C and K sounds are funny words. Words that have C's and K's. Por, no, yo no sé por qué, pero palabras que tienen C y K son divertidos. Tiene humor. Um, it, it, it's, it's just, it just happens to be that. That's what the comedians say, is that if you have a word like, I don't, I, right now I can't think of one. <laughs> like, Cocorico. Huh? Cocorico is a great example of, or I don't remember what it is in Spanish, but that's the French, I think. But I think that it's similar in Spanish. For the rooster, what yeah. the rooster says, kikiriki. Right. Yeah. But, but that's it does. what the, that's what funny. the, uh huh, kikiriki. <laughs> <laughs> but so, it's a similar sound yeah similar sound yeah. similar sound but i do like the i do like i do like uh i like letters i like the n -ye. um i like double l's and double r's double l is is um also a, a letter that's not in the english alphabet um, we didn't do double L because Alonso told me that it's not technically anymore a letter. That the Academia de Española decidió que doble L es un sonido más que una letra o algo así, no sé. That it's, double L is more of a sound than a letter. But I like double L's. They're good. Like, well, Llama has a double L, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not the same kind of double L as in the middle of a word. So shall we pick another letter? I think so. Does anybody here who's attending have a letter they'd like for us to make a bilingual little little sentence story about? Alguien que de los participantes que tenga una letra que le gustaría jugar ese juego, hacer una historia corta. Una letra favorito, o si no, vamos a usar la letra. Oh, Leilani loves. L. I almost, I almost was going to say she loves D because the smiley face in the chat is like a colon with a D. And I was like, I was going to say she loves D. And then I was like, no, she loves L. And L is a lovely letter. And it appears twice in Leilani. So there it goes. Yes. All right. So then we're going to do L. In, and I appreciate uh, Leilani's participation. L and P, Leilani's participation, LP. And LP is back in the old days when I was born, and LP was a record. It was, that that doesn't even exist anymore. How do I explain record to no one who's, to someone who's not ever seen a record? An LP, long play, is what it really meant. Okay, lovely. So we can do words that start with L and words that start with P, correct? Right yeah. now, or just okay. Um, or do you just want to do L? Um, uh, uh, let's do let's do L, and then and then if if people are energetic, we'll we'll do P after because it's better okay. it's it's better to do do one. Sounds good. Do one, yeah. Although, oh no, because L you'd have M and O in between. Notice how I can never say just M N O. It has to be L M L M N O P. It's almost like one letter, L M N O P. But L, yeah. Right, so right. I forgot my order of the alphabet. Of course, we're just doing L. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. De nada. Okay, we've got lovely lamb, lion, lemon, lookout. Ooh, limon, lindo, library, lost. <gasps> oh, these are such good words. Um, lucky. Okay, I think we have we have a good amount of words. Oops, here comes another one. Lecker, I'm sorry, librarian Cara, you, I'm I'm not putting lecker in there. <laughs> oh no, I might be able to, yeah. But and it's German for tasty. Okay, we're gonna ooh labio, lengua, <gasps> lips. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, this is exciting. I I feel I feel like there's there's a story in here. And if anyone has a story before I do, 
feel free or feel free to yell out, but I feel there's a story here about a lovely lamb who, I, I'm sorry, but it, the lovely lamb is going to get eaten by the lion. Or maybe not. Maybe we don't have to. Ooh, a labyrinth. That's a good word too. The uh, L is for lovely lamb. L is for, and lone, well, the lamb doesn't have to be lonely. They can just be lovely. L is for a lovely lamb um, who, who was on the lookout for lions. Okay, maybe, maybe we can avoid eating the lamb. Um, uh, that were licking their lips, their lips, their labios, eh, their labios. With their tongues, the lengua, la. Uh -huh. Aha, con sus lenguas, con sus lenguas. Is that, is that even close to correct? Yeah, kind of, sort of, right? L is for lovely lamb who was on the lookout for lions that were licking their lips and their labios con sus lenguas. Um, uh, L is for a lovely lamb in a labyrinth. Oh, the lamb was in a labyrinth. So, 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 so we can keep the lamb safe because the, the, the lions couldn't really get can, through the labyrinth. That can be a uh, bilingual. It can be in the labyrintho. And, and yeah, labyrintho. And, Labyrintho, 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 who was on their lookout for lions and they were licking their lips, their labios con sus lenguas. Um, uh, 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 because they wanted lamb with lemon. No, not lamb with lemon. Um, and they were tasty. Where's the word tasty in? Leche. Oh my goodness. We've got leche in there. They wanted lamb with lemon and a glass of leche and liquid leche because liquid begins with L and well, although all leche is, no, you could have powdered leche. So there it's not all liquid. Um, oh, and lago. L is for lovely lamb in a labyrinth by the lago who was on the lookout for lions that were licking their lips, their labios con sus lenguas, because they wanted lamb with lemon and liquid leche. And, 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 but the lamb, uh, and, and something about tasty, where is that word? Lick? Lick, lick, lick. What's that word, Cara? Librarian Cara? Lecker. Oh, lecker. Um, because, because lambs are lecker. Um, but... Ooh, locker also, but we're not gonna. But uh, the librarian locked the lions out. Lucky lamb. There. Let's see. L is for lovely lamb in a labyrinth, labyrintho by the lago, who was on the lookout for lions that were licking their lips, their labios con sus lenguas, because they wanted lamb with lemon and a liquid le and a lot of and a lot of liquid leche of liquid leche because lambs are liquor but librarian but the librarian locked the lions out oh and i think there was lana don't isn't lana wool we have to put lana in because it's wool l is for lovely lamb with luscious lana in a labyrinth boom yay <laughs> what a story, que cuento. Cuento más largo, pero but you know, it just it just, I know, it's an amazing because letters all we have are 26 or depending on on the the alphabet, 26 or more letters and every book ever written, every story Cualquier historia escrito es basado en 26 a 28 más o menos letras. And you can combine them a million different ways. And it, oh, look. And all this happened on a very low. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a random number that I accidentally just copied and pasted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to call, I'm going to call librarian Cara Looney. <laughs> Accurate. 
because she put a random number in there. Well, Leilani, look at what you started. So uh, you're you're brilliant. Thank you for 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 sharing the letter L with us. Um, do we end on P? Should we just should we close it out with one more? And 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 I don't know if it's ending time. You tell me. But um, we're really flexible. Um, we can do another letter, and we also have time for questions if, oh, or yeah. comments if anybody wants to um, share as well. Entonces, si quieren los participantes, podemos hacer otra letra um, para terminar. Y también tenemos tenemos tiempo para preguntas y, y charlar si quieren compartir un poquito con la autora. As as I hope you know by now I'm not I'm not shy and I will be happy to answer <laughs> any questions. Um but or play with P. The letter P to be clear. <laughs> I'm very bad. I'm very very um bad. But that's okay. I mean well. Okay. Aw. I, if if I had a prize, oh, thank you, Ines. Um, if I had if I had a prize, I would give everyone a prize. But I would give Leilani a prize because she she's she's a lot of participation and fun, and she says things happy in the chat. Oh. While we're giving people time to to sh think about any questions they might have, mm -hmm. let me share because we do have <laughs> some prizes. <laughs> so I'd like to share about that um, just a moment, and I'm going to try sharing my screen again so I can. I don't know what the all. rules of the prizes are, so yeah, yeah, no, I will go ahead and. All right. Okay, so um, I hope you all have a chance to think if you have some questions um, or think about, I we think we're going to do letter P so you can think about some, some words. But we do have, we're having a, a raffle for this month for um, Día de los Niños, Día de los Libros, or for Children's Day Book Day. And every child can have up to four entries in the raffle. And the prize is a hard copy um, edition of ZigZag, the book, for you to own. Um, and I think half of the copies we have are signed <laughs> because we bought them directly from, from our author, Rochelle Newman, and then the other half aren't. So the first winners will get signed books, and then there'll be some people that, that get unsigned books. Um, but so all of you for being here today get one entry. And if there's more than one child with you today, if you want to take a moment just to put in the chat how many children you have, because I'm going to give an entry for each child who's here. Um, and we'll we'll go ahead, since you registered online, we'll go ahead and use your email address to contact you. But if you can just take a moment in the chat to tell us how many children are with you today, and then each child will get an entry. Um, entonces, la primera. Um, manera de recibir una entrada en la rifa para ganar una copia del libro zigzag es por participar hoy y todos ustedes tienen una entrada en la rifa y tenemos una entrada para cada um, niño que está aquí hoy entonces si puede um, tomar el tiempo ahorita en el chat o en la caja de, de charlar en decirnos cuántos niños están con ustedes hoy porque voy a dar una entrada para cada niño ok y nosotros tenemos sus correos electrónicos porque registraron para participar hoy ok um, and then after that there's a couple other ways you can participate. We have coloring sheets that you can either print off our website or pick up at the library during curbside pickup. And when you turn those in, you'll get an entry as well. And there's two coloring sheets. So each child can each um, color a coloring sheet. And then also if you do this, um, alphabet activity at home and you make a page you can draw a picture and share your letters take a picture of that and upload it to our website um, and you'll get another entry or if you just want to make a different kind of book with your children at home um, using materials you have whether it's lunch bags paper bags from the grocery store um, or something else if you make a book or do some kind of activity that's book making whether it be the alphabet activity or a different book you can take a picture of that and upload it onto our website for an entry as well Entonces, hay um, tres otras entradas que pueden tener 
um, en la rifa para tener oportunidad de ganar el libro. Y aquí son, tenemos dos dibujos de colorear que se puede recibir en la biblioteca durante la recogida en la acera o si quieren lo pueden imprimir en nuestro sitio de web. Entonces, cada niño puede tener dos entradas si colerán um, los dos dibujos y se lo pueden entregar nosotros. También, si hacen la actividad con el alfabeto, parecido a lo que hicimos hoy con la autora, pueden hacer tal vez una página o si hacen un libro completo. No importa si solamente sea una página, pero si hacen su o hagan su cuento con una letra y los niños pueden dibujar algo, pueden hacer una foto de esto y subirlo a nuestro sitio de web para otra entrada. O si prefieren hacer otro título de libro, en casa, si sea con hojas de papel que tienen o bolsas de, de papel que tienen en, de la tienda, pues pueden hacer cualquier libro y tomar una foto y subirla por um, el sitio de web. Y para ver, to see, here's a picture of um, the two different coloring sheets we have. So one is our special Dia de los Niños logo that we have that a local artist made. And then one is just a, a little quick drawing of one of our favorite pages from the book of Q&R. <laughs> um, los dos dibujos para colorear. Uno es de una artista local um, que hizo para nuestra celebración de Dia de los Niños y otro es una página de la, del libro que hicimos un dibujo corto de, de la Q y la R. So I'll stop sharing now um, so that we can go back um, to the activity or if you have any questions. Okay, that sounds like fun. Um, so everyone should draw and, you know, enter enter the contest. podemos hacer P si no hay, we can do P if there aren't any burning questions. Um, doesn't sound like there are, okay. Well then, here we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna put on my create a story hat and we're all gonna put words that begin with P. <gasps> Poppies, like in the Wizard of Oz. What is, oh, Papageno is the word for poppies in Spanish? Is that correct? No, I was hoping that Papageno was parrot in Spanish, oh. but it is in some language, I think. I was just um, trying. There is a word for parrot in it that sounds something like that. Like, is it? I don't remember. Pretty peppers. <laughs> I like that image. Pretty peppers. Peppers can be pretty. It's true. Um, okay, pretty peppers. Pajina. Uh, puppies. Oop, I didn't spell puppies right. I'm missing the S, but we know. Oh, pecan. Is, is pacana? Okay, I did not know that. See, um, I love when I'm learning words too. Palacio, paper. Um, and Elizabeth's name ends with, begins with Z too. We had a lot of Zs today. And Kimberly is a V and a W. I bet if we look at our names, we almost have the entire alphabet because we have V, W, we don't probably don't have a Q. Or an X. Anyway, that's not the game we're playing. We're playing P. Okay, let me let me focus. My husband always calls me shiny object because I get distracted very easily. Um, but shiny objects are nice. Okay, Padre Principado, Puerta, Peaceful, Paper, Palacio, Pecan, mm, Paella. Ooh, Paella. Now I'm hungry. Um, um. Uh, pots and pans. Oh, papaya. Okay. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I just am enjoying the words. I shouldn't let all these words, because now I'm going to, how we're going to put all these words. We can just, we're going to put them in a story. Or, and if we don't, oh, passion fruit. That's good. Passion fruit. Mmm. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. Pansies. Oh, now we have two kinds of flowers. Okay. All right. Do we have enough? I think we have plenty of plenty. Plenty is a word. Petunias and pickles. We need pickles because we had zucchinis before. Now we're going to have pickles. Um, practically all the words. Okay, I think we have. I think we have a good amount of words. Um, so let's see. Oh my goodness, we have pretty peppers and we have poppies and we have pahina. 
Um, and paye and papay and parking. Oh, oh, okay. And palacio. Um, okay. P is for, uh, let's see. What's a good name that begins with, with P? Do we have anybody whose first name is P? Mm. Pansy or Petunia. Huh? Oh, well, Petunia, Petunia. Okay. P is for Petunia Perez. I've added a member of your family. Lilani Perez, you now have Petunia Perez. Petunia Perez maybe is a puppy. P is for Petunia Perez, a puppy. We're going to make our main character a puppy. Um, P is for Petunia, Petunia Perez, a puppy. Um, who a puppy who um pooped because that's what puppies do it's not a bad word the puppy pooped in the palace and practically uh uh practically mm, per, uh uh practically was put in a peligroso position, in a position, una posición, una posición, una posición. I'm adding words that aren't, that weren't in our list, but they're P words. Una posición, is that how you spell it? Something seems wrong. Peligroso. He was practically, okay, in the palace and was practically put in una posición peligroso peligroso, pero, but, but, mm, the prince turned the page, turned the página, and, uh, and preferred picking pretty peppers and petunia and, and and poppies and papaya <laughs> and uh uh and pecans and and pecans in a peaceful mm, in a peaceful in a peaceful uh place okay Wait, we're not done with our story yet. P is for Petunia Perez, a puppy who pooped in the palace and was practically put in una posición peligroso. Pero the prince turned the página and closed the door and closed la puerta. Because when you turn the página, you can also close the puerta. Because turning the página and closing the puerta are related in some weird way. And preferred picking pretty peppers and poppies and papaya and pecans in a peaceful place and making paella with particular, because you have to make paella with particular pots and pans. Uh, uh, oh, paper. Well, pahina and paper go together. So turn the pahina made of paper because it's a page made of paper and the puerta made of what what can a puerta be made of that begins with made of purple um uh what is something that a door can be made of that uh, it has about painted purple painted purple close the puerta that was painted purple and preferred picking pretty peppers and poppies and papaya and pecans in a peaceful place and making paella with particular pots and pans and and passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit goes back there with picking poppies and papaya and passion fruit and pecans and passion fruit and pecans in a peaceful place and making papaya with particular pots and pans and pansies. I keep seeing words that I didn't put in, but we can fit pansies in with the poppies and the poppies and pansies and pansies and papaya and passion fruit with particular pots and pans. And peonies, well, we know those go in the flowers. And petunias, oh my goodness, there's so many flowers with peas. Um, and, and, oh, and pickles. We forgot pickles. Pricking, pricking pretty peppers and pickles and poppies. 
Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Do you know that? I don't know the one in Spanish, but I know how it starts. Tres tristes tigres, the tongue twister. There's one called Tres tristes tigres, like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Anyway, all right. Okay, P, P is all over the place. Oh, we've got names like Pedro and Paco and and some, and some oh, polenta. Oh, polenta. Polenta is good too. And making pole, paella with particular pots of pans and a side of polenta. And the puppy, we have to get back, we have to end with the puppy. And the puppy was pleased. There we go. The puppy was pleased. Yeah, because he didn't get in trouble. The point of the story, it's a little wandry, but the point of the story is, is that there was this puppy named Petunia Perez who pooped in the palace and was put in a practically peligroso position, pero the prince turned the pagina made of paper, metaphorically speaking, turned the pagina made of paper and closed the puerta, meaning Okay, shut. It's okay. The puppy's going to be okay. That was painted purple and preferred picking pretty peppers and pickles and poppies and pansies. And, and there were a couple other flowers in there like peonies and, and papaya and passion fruit and pecans. And in a peaceful place, they're making paella with particular pots and pans and a side of polenta. And the puppy was pleased. Oh, Pero the Prince. Or Perro the Prince. Oh, there you go. And for those of you, but the Prince or Prince the dog, right? Right? There you go. That's a trans that's a translation, more or less, right? But the prince or Prince the dog. See? Perf perfecto. There you go. Once you get started, it's hard to stop. It just is oh look, I got little clappy hands. The, the, the little emoji and whatever, emoticon. Is there a difference between an emoticon and an emoji? I guess an emoji can be any image, but an emoticon expresses, expresses emotion. These are the things that I think about because I like language. And I love, uh, I love all of your words that everyone gave me to create stories about Petunia Paris. That was really fun. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> Does anyone have something they'd like to share? Anyone want to try Any their questions? own questions? I'll give you words and you try it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not put anyone on the spot. It's nice when we work together. Yeah, we're team. not. <laughs> not <on this. laughs> uh, and and Lilani says you. thank you. That was very fun. Well, thank you for lending us your letters leilani lent us her letters her l and her p and that that saved the day because we got to have fun with them so thank you librarian Kristen, would you like to share with us another fun thing coming up yes i do if there's if there aren't any questions and if you do have if you have a question feel free to ask it now i don't want to jump over anybody and if something comes up when i'm sharing just let me know, raise your hand and you can say something in a moment. So um, we have, we're super excited because we are making our own alphabet book in Springfield called Springfield A to Z and we need your help. <laughs> so estamos muy alegres porque vamos a hacer nuestro propio libro de alfabeto this Springfield y necesitamos su ayuda. So from today, May 1st through July 31st of this year, we're accepting artwork um, to, to be selected to make uh, a book, um, an alphabet book about Springfield, celebrating Springfield. And anyone who lives in Springfield or rural East Lane County um, can participate. And there's a lot of small communities that are in that. We have the list on our website online um, if you want to see the details. Entonces, vamos a hacer un libro de alfabeto con arte de la comunidad. Y ustedes pueden entregar arte desde hoy, desde el primer día, hasta el 31 de julio um, para ver si se va a seleccionarlo para 
se parte del libro. Todas las personas que viven en Springfield y también en las comunidades rurales de Lane County, que sean inmediatamente al este de Springfield, se pueden participar. Y se invita a participar los niños, adolescentes y adultos. And of course, this is open to kids, teens, and adults. And we hope that you participate. Um, people who, whose artwork is selected as part of the book um, will receive a free copy of the book when it's published in 2022. And then other copies will be for sale for other people who'd like a copy. Entonces, um, las obras ganadoras, um, la gente que hicieron las obras de arte ganadoras van a recibir una copia gratis del libro cuando se lo publicara en el 2022. Y también vamos a tener copias del libro uh, para en venta. Y todos los fondos del evento de los libros va a beneficiar uh, la biblioteca y um, el Museo de Historia de Springfield. And then all of the proceeds that come from selling the book will go to benefit the library and the Springfield History Museum. So um, we have more information on our website, and I'm sure you'll hear a lot of it about this because we're super excited and we hope that you all feel like you can participate. We really are accepting all ages and all abilities. And we have a question in the chat. Is it bilingual too? Let's see. Yes, Leilani, thank you. I forgot to say, this is going to be a bilingual Spanish and English book. So um, we really hope that you select letters and things that represent Springfield in Spanish and put them in because we would love to have as many Spanish entries as possible. And actually, um, if there's other languages that you speak as part of the community here, um, we will accept those too, but we're all, and so we may have some letters from some other languages, but we are only translating everything into, into Spanish and English. Um, and then with, you know, if we have a more, a diversity of letters from other languages, those will be included. Y se me olvidó decir en español que este es un libro bilingüe en español y en inglés. Entonces, si quieren um, entrar una obra de arte que representa una letra en español de algo que se representa de Springfield, por favor que participen porque buscamos um, letras de español también y si hay otros idiomas que hablan también se lo pueden entrar porque si recibimos arte buenísima de que es de otros idiomas vamos a incluirlo también lo único sea que vamos a traducir todo a español y en inglés y tal vez tenemos una diversidad de lenguas con las letras Oh, so great to hear that some of you have been inspired to participate. I really hope that you do. Um, That's so sweet. Thank you. Que, I mean, esta es mi, 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 mi primer visita a Springfield y espero que when, when we travel again, one day I can be there in person. I hope one day. We would it. love to meet you in person, Rochelle. <laughs> so fun. But I'm so, uh, did I tell the story of how I met librarian Kristen? Because I think we might have met in Guadalajara, but we don't, we don't, we didn't know it. I was at the book fair. Yo estaba en la Feria de Libros de Guadalajara con ZigZag. Y la bibliotecaria Kristen también era allá. Pero, um, on this, I saw librarian Kristen reading zigzag in un video in la, in la biblioteca, in YouTube. Y yo, I, I wrote to you and I said, thank you. And then she wrote back and invited me and I'm so glad you did. So thank you. I'm so glad too. It was really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> you never know who sees our videos. We do have a great YouTube channel if you want to check it out if you haven't already. And it was really sweet that Rochelle happened upon a video that I made when the pandemic first started, a reading zigzag. So, si fue, fue un día feliz que recibí el correo electrónico de Rochelle porque ella miró el video que hice leyendo um, zigzag. Y, and um, if you like it, um, I also happen to make a video of the of another book by the other author of, of the story, um, Alonso Nunez. He has another book called La Vrena de Corazones. Mm -hmm. And I have a video up. I'm reading that one as well. Hice otro video de, de otro libro del otro autor um, que está en YouTube también, si lo quieren ver. But yeah, thank you for sharing that story. 
Yeah. Speaking of YouTube, we have had a good group of people watching this through our Facebook Live. So thank you everybody who joined us today that way. We're going to leave this video up on Facebook Live for the next hour and a half or so. And then eventually we'll transition to having a video on YouTube as well. So if you joined us late and want to go back and watch the beginning of this Facebook Live, it will remain up for a little while. Thank you. And thank you to Librarian Kara for making all of the scary technical stuff look easy. Yay. Well, it was so much fun today. Thank so you again. Fun. This was just a really nice way for us to celebrate um, Children's Day since we couldn't do it in person. Gracias por acompañarnos hoy, Rochelle, y ustedes también, las familias que participaron. Fue una manera muy divertida para mí a celebrar el Día del Niño. Um, como no podemos celebrar en persona con una feria aquí en la biblioteca, pero tenemos este evento de todos modos. Um, 